So, just a little bit of clickbait. Well, sort of. YouTube is going to be implementing a new YouTube policy on February 20th. And what that policy states is, is that in order to become or stay a partner with YouTube and get the ad revenue, so if you watch my YouTube paycheck videos, that's the ad revenue I'm talking about, you have to have a set of minimum requirements. And that minimum requirements is now going to be 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours within the last year, okay? If a YouTube channel doesn't meet those requirements, even though before they were making money and doing well, they're going to be cut off, okay? And they won't be allowed to reapply until they meet those numbers, go through an application and review process, and then if they're approved, then they can start getting their revenue again. So what does it all mean? Well, for you guys, or you specific that are just viewers, watchers of YouTube fishing videos, it's going to mean losing fishing channels and losing missing opportunities to see videos because they're going to go away because that part of what makes it rewarding to do YouTube is going to be taken away. Now, a lot of people do it for fun, so it's not going to affect that, but there are people that are wanting and putting in extra effort, buying equipment, investing more time than they might do if they were just doing it for fun, based on the fact that there is a little pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So even for my viewers out of the QS Kayak Fishing channel who only watch my videos, only watch QS Kayak Fishing, okay? I know you guys are lying because I see your comments in other channels' videos. So, but no, I'm just kidding. But that's the thing is that your variety, that selection of variables of getting bored watching me in salt water, blue sky, sunny in wintertime might not be your thing. You might like cold, dreary, freezing, slushy ice fishing, and that might be your gist, but you might not get so many anymore because this new policy. Now, what if you've got a fishing channel and you're meeting those requirements? You have over a thousand subscribers and you've got over 4,000 hours of uh, watch time. Do you just say, that eh, sucks to be them? No, okay, business-wise, you gotta understand is those channels support all the bigger channels. For example, if you have a kayak fishing channel, uh, I'm pretty sure that if you go to your main page and you look at the related channels column right next to your videos, it's gonna say QS Kayak Fishing on there, okay? And whether you're 50,000 or you're 10 subscribers, okay? My channel's gonna be on there. And even though they might have never heard about me, they go to your channel, they love your stuff, they're gonna say, oh, there's another kayak fishing channel let's check it out and they come to mine and I get views and I get a possible another subscriber okay so it benefits it benefits everybody and it's very important that you understand that as another fishing YouTube channel there is no competition between fishing channels okay it's not like people only get like three YouTube tokens and they can only watch three videos and after that it's over so everybody has to fight to get that guy with the their tokens to watch the videos it's not like that if you have good videos they'll watch it okay but to support each other is huge because as a above board channel okay those smaller channels feed people to us that we might not have gotten without them and you also have to remember it might right now be 1,000 subscribers, but what happens when it goes to 10,000? Are you safe? What happens if it goes to 50,000? Are you safe? What if it goes to 100,000? I quit, okay? And then it affects everybody down that line. So we gotta be just very careful and protect these people that are just starting out or just have those early growth channels because it even affects our growth as well. So what are we gonna do about it? Me, three things. One, okay, I'm gonna bring out my old uh, Who Am I Watching playlist. And that's basically a video I make that I feature other YouTube channels and just people that I enjoy or who I've been watching and just kinda give them a little bit of a push of uh, my viewers. But in this instance, we're gonna try to help out some of those people that are 
channels that are a little bit closer to that thousand subscriber list. So what I'm looking for is any YouTube fishing, gotta be fishing, channels that are 750 subscribers to 999 subscribers, okay? You just go into the comments, just put your channel name will be there, just put, hey, give me a hand, just let me know that you're interested in doing this. And then within this next week, I'll do one of those who am I watching videos and I'll feature different uh, videos. I'll probably try to prioritize them so that we get those people, people closer to the hump initially up front. But then at the worst, I'm gonna add everybody in the description and just kind of keep adding people. And what I found is that a lot of people like those videos because it makes it easier for them because when they wanna watch fishing videos, I just give them a list and they can click on that one and click on that one, click on that one, click on that one. And for those that are watching me that watch this video, there's more than enough cool people out there that are not like stringent, oh, you must fill out this form in order for me to subscribe. They're just like, ah, oh, fishing channel, click subscribe, okay? So hopefully we'll get a lot of people over that hump. Two is for those people that have a fishing channel that you're watching this video. I challenge you guys to do the same thing. Even if you only have 10 subscribers, trust me, you make a difference, okay? Those 10 viewers might not be aware of that person that has 999 subscribers and needs 10 people, okay? We all have to help our, each other. And whether you're over that thousand, don't sit on your laurels, okay? You were there once, you were struggling, you know how it is, but you didn't have YouTube saying, we're gonna coach, cut you off if you don't meet the certain requirements. We didn't have to go through that. So we need to help the other YouTube channels that are going through that. And remember, okay, they funnel traffic to your channel, okay? Just like I'm fully aware, <laughs> that person with 10 subscribers funnels those people to my channel because of those referral videos and referral channels, all right, related. Three, okay, is even if you just watch fishing videos, put some pressure on some of these bigger channels that are sitting out there that might not be aware of it or might not care and just say, hey, I mean, you got there because of us and other people watching your channel. Maybe you should be out there kind of supporting these smaller channels that are up and coming like you used to be. Okay, I'm certain a lot of big channels and even anybody over that thousand would be more than happy to do it because they all know where they're coming from. But a lot of people don't know what's gonna be happening on February 20th and just let those bigger channels know, hey, Maybe you should do a video. Maybe you should kind of do some shout outs. Maybe you should just kind of help a, a channel get over that hump, okay? Because we're one community and we're not competitive. It, it's not like, like I said before, it's not about like three tokens and that's all that person can watch and we have to fight over that person. It's an open platform, okay? If people get start watching videos, they're gonna watch everybody's videos. So we just gotta kind of stick together there. All right, let's do some fishing. Uh, just gonna check out the bait situation, see what's around. Water's real milky, so uh, it's been really churned up for the last four days of 25, 30 knot winds. Uh, we have a one day dip today where it gets down into the 10 to 15s, and then tomorrow it gets right back up to the 20s again, so right back to no fishing time. So we're just gonna go out, see what bait we can catch, and then uh, just try to hook up something, hopefully, in this milky water. But uh, let's go catch something. Ooh, hunting for pilchards, but I got, oh, freakers fell out of the hole. I got mullet. Hmm, that changes things up. Well, maybe I'll start a mullet bucket. That's what we'll do, mullets and pilchards. Well, the water condition is just horrible everywhere. There's no clean water anywhere around here. I was fortunate to blind cast those mullets, so only thing I could think of doing is uh, just slow trolling them around the uh, the channel and hopefully something comes up and eats them. So we'll give that a try. Wow, this is what happens to the water after three or four days of 20 knot winds. Fishing's gonna be a little tough today. All right, I still got my stuff rigged up uh, when we were fishing for the uh, mackerel. So that's my setup. I've got about a foot of wire there. Nice little five, six inch uh, mullet. Seven out circle hook. 
got my pedals in the water and we're just gonna slow troll this guy around and hopefully it gets smashed well I am thinking that I am going to change gears there's nothing going on the water visibility is just horrible I can't find any clean water anywhere I'm on the flats right now in a foot of water you, you can't even tell uh, I was just hoping maybe there'd be some barracudas around so I've been towing this uh, live mullet but there's some stuff way out in the distance of the mangroves and some of my treasure hoarding spots so I think I'm gonna go check that out instead but this is a perfect example why you got to protect those other fishing YouTube channels because <laughs> if you're wanting to see fishing well you ain't gonna get to see it from me so you got to find somebody else that did it so that's why that uh, options are good well that's one of the things that I saw that's one of the old Cuban chug boats and I think this is one of the ones that's been around kind of remember that siding but then again they're all kind of made that way those are Cuban outriggers had an old diesel or a little small block motor there powered it pretty cool that orangish thing is what I saw from way back there, so we're gonna check out and see what that is. Whoa! Well, it looks like it used to be a kayak. Now it's a mashed up kayak. I don't know if I saw this one earlier. Wow, it's deep. Whoa, it's deep. Ugh! Ugh. Depends on how far down it goes. Yeah, it's like wedged. It's like a sit inside little kayak, dude. Yeah, it's a uh, sit inside dolphin, so it's packed full of mud on the inside of it, so I can't even turn it over. Plus, now I think I'm stuck. Oh well. At least now I know. These little baby sharks around here. I'm wondering if I should mess with them or not. A whole bunch of them all over the place, so. But I threw out all those mullet. I'd have to cast net more. We'll let them survive for now. Even got a nice cuda there. He's been chasing these mullet around. And the lull in the wind is gone. Here comes those winds from the north. So that's going to drop the temps down another 10 degrees or so and keep this water all churned up. So I think it's a four day stretch, maybe five days. And then there's another little lull. So fishing's going to be kind of thin for the next few days. All right, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, that northern storm front is starting to push over and uh, the winds are definitely picking up. Uh, yeah, it's going to be rough days for the next four days, but I got my four hours worth of <laughs> somewhat calm weather. But uh, anyways, in regards to the YouTube uh, fishing channels, again, if you have a YouTube fishing channel and you have re between that 750 subscribers and not quite 1,000 yet, just put a not notice in that uh, comment section below and I'll flag it. And later on this week, I'll add you to the uh, featured uh, list there. Uh, just the same, if you know somebody that has a fishing channel and they fit in that 750 to 1,000 range, just let them know. Uh, check out this video. Uh, throw a comment down below so I could flag them. Now, I am going to limit it to that person has to be the one to reference their channel. Okay, So I'll see it, their channel name. Because some people don't want the help. They want to grow their channel a specific way. So I'm going to respect that. But uh, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the somewhat fishing video. <laughs> Not catching video. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. So as you can see, it's blowing. <laughs> I was just hiding over there.